eventually we'll find ourselves in the side boat and I'll be like, so uh, let me call you an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so along those lines, I would say people haven't really learned how to be able to see what's going on internally, being self-aware of, here's how much I have to offer or give, but here's when I have to draw the line or my boundary, you know? And for example, in your case, it's kind of like you were being depleted, but you didn't realize it until finally like, I just can't handle this anymore. And so that response is more reactionary right and it comes out in ways that we may regret in the aftermath whereas maybe like an alternative would be what does it look like for me to i know myself well enough to say okay here's where my danger zone is where like the edge of the cliff is where like boom versus how can i scale it back to a safe place over here so i never make it over here and i communicate to say to your mom saying hey um I don't have much more I can take of this here. I'm gonna like excuse myself before I boom. Because I've definitely been in that zone myself too. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for sharing with me, I appreciate that. I think it's a very astute observation. Were you born here in Calgary? I was. out this view we can see the mountains finally it's been so long since like the smokiness I like that you like the view oh my <laughs> goodness I I moved back here just because this yeah it doesn't get better than this I don't think I I'm a glutton for like beautiful things things that make me say I am reminded how small I am <laughs> no, okay. how insignificant my seeming problems are because this is just like oh yeah man. there's just so much more absolutely all right so here's my really vulnerable question that I'm inviting you to partake or bow out of without any reservation. What is one thing you wish you had that you never got as you're growing up that you want, that you're like, I would so love to experience what this was like, but I never had access to it. It's a pretty deep one. I think my brother I've always wanted my brother to be in my life. You wanted your brother to be your older brother. Yeah. And why wasn't he in your life? I don't know. I think it's the age gap because he's five years older. Okay. Like even now, like I'd be like, hey, do you want to hang out with me? And he'd be like, no. So like, he just doesn't like take us like in. He's not interested. It seems to yeah. you. And he wants that. And you've always wanted that. I've always wanted that. Like for years, I'm like Nathan, I love you. Yeah. And he's like, shut up. He doesn't know how to give off love and affection. Yeah. Like deep down, I know he loves us and everything. Yeah. But, but he doesn't express it as well as he likes to see. Yeah. Okay. So I'm the oldest of six kids. You are? Yes. Wow. Yeah. My youngest sister is as old as you are. Nineteen. Nineteen. Take a guess how many years difference there is between me, the oldest, and she, the youngest. Okay, so she's the youngest? Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing your age? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can try guess my age too if you like. Oh, she's 19. Yeah. And there's six kids. Six kids. No. No! You can't not be old. This is fine. <laughs> you can't be old. <laughs> oh, this is so I would have guessed maybe. 21? Yeah. You would have guessed I was 21 years old? Yeah. Oh man. But that, like, like yeah. two years old. That's... How many twins do you think there are in my family? At least, at least one. Okay. There has to be. Okay. Uh, two cents? One cent. One cent. Two. <laughs> <laughs> gonna say anything until you guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of until you're asking. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 So I think you're maybe. <laughs> Wait, maybe... <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna say you're 24. 24. And there are like two sets of points. Two sets of points. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
appreciate you just being bold with that guess. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, you're bold. You're wrong on two accounts. Oh, how's yeah. that? So there aren't any twins in my family. <laughs> Do you want to guess that again? Makes so much sense. <laughs> okay, guess um, again. Yes, I do want to guess again. Oh, yeah. I, I want to say six years apart. Six years apart. Okay. So that would make her. That would make me twenty-five-ish. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna guess you're twenty-five. Okay. And that's your serious guess. Yeah. Then you guys are all like one year. Apart. One year apart. Okay. So let me, oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Are you enjoying this, by the way? I, I, I can stop if you want. No, I'm it. Okay, okay. So let's, let's give you some more context. <laughs> um, I was born in a different country, and she was born in this country. Uh-huh. I was eight years old when I moved to Canada. Oh, that, this oh. Is, you're not 25? <laughs> I was eight years old when I moved to Canada and she was born in this country. I was born in a different country. So you guys are either eight years apart or more? Okay. I'm going to say you guys are... I have to think. <laughs> I'm going to say nine years apart. Give, give, give your parents a okay. year to have her. Which would make me 28. No. Are you 28? No, that, that would make me 28 if your guess was 9 years. Different. My guess is 9 years. Yeah, because that may make me 28 years old, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys 8 years apart? No. Uh, so, when I moved to Canada, it was me and my two brothers. So, there's two who are closer to me in age. Then there's a huge gap in years before my parents had my last three siblings. So, the gap between me and my baby sister. 22 years. How old does that make you? I'm 41. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. I, the highest I was going to go was like maybe 30. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too much fun. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even guess that. I'm 41 years old, yes. I, it's only recently that I found out while doing this job that I look a lot younger than I see. Yeah? But, yeah. <laughs> Did you get a lot of people asking if you were like 20 something, 25? Yeah, they usually guess in the mid range of 20s to early 30s at the most, but. <laughs> no, I thought you were super young. Oh man. It was cruel because I was only giving you little tidbits that so you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna extend myself this much further now. No, it can be this. No, we, let's be reasonable here. <laughs> oh man. May I ask you another question? Yes. When you see yourself in the mirror, do you like what you see? Or do you struggle with what you see? I definitely do struggle with what I see. Okay. I do. Which is why, which is definitely why I got my hair done. Oh, okay. Okay. No, because I get, I turned manic for a while because I have issues. Um, because usually I wear like no makeup, all natural. I'll be, I'm usually all natural. Like you definitely. look all natural right now. You don't oh, my it. face is natural. Uh, like you have no makeup on right now. Yeah, okay, good. That's nice. Um, but no, I never get my hair done. I ever. Gotcha. But you're trying something. Yeah, I just I want I want to change. Okay. But no, I, I think per, more personality wise that really gets me because I do like the way I look. Yeah. yeah. For what it's worth, you definitely have a beautiful countenance, physically. Um. And if anything, now I like your personality already. Thank you. <laughs> We're jamming pretty well. But I would say that's where, um, it sounds corny, but I think it's really true that a person's real beauty comes from within. Um, it does. Especially in the way that they're able to engage the world around them. And I find the better access to that beauty within comes from a confidence in how you feel and see yourself, uh, which isn't easily acquired because. I'm not talking about what you see in the mirror when you look at yourself, although that's what most of us do. We look at ourselves, we're like, I wish you were more pretty or handsome or, you know, like, I wish I had this element or that kind of thing. 
so I'm also like digging a little further into uh, knowing who you are where you're at right now and I think we all know ourselves pretty well but I would suggest that most people are really freaked out when they see themselves for who they really are in the, in, in the mirror especially if I don't know let's say you meet someone with anger problems really violent right and they hate that about themselves but they can't help it right and, but they don't want to deal with it because they're like I don't want to see that side of me and I'm just gonna avoid it until it comes up again it's like oh crap here I am again but I'll try to avoid it right and so I'd say when a person's able to sort of actually uh, acknowledge and saying okay this is what I see and I'm happy to start off at this place right now and trying to figure out how to be the next better version of me is a beautiful expression because I think that's what all of us are trying to do myself included you know mm -hmm. and so yeah I think to be happy you just have to be happy with like who you are on the inside because the outside actually just doesn't matter at all that makes sense but I would say a lot of people even though they would say hell yes to that don't know how to experience it you know what I'm saying yeah they I struggle in experiencing it um, and that's the challenging part so if I were your bigger brother I'd say hell yes to you <laughs> yeah just so you know and I say it because I am a big